So here we are at the, the Long Acre Theatre where the prom is on. You'll see a, a, a video, a, a review for the prom later. Here we go. So there are the uh, Tony nominees. Seven nominations and guesting, so in, including Best Musical. Fantastic reviews. You'll hear what we thought later. Hi everyone. So it's um, a bit of a rainy day. Can you see? Got my lovely rain mac on. So you can see I'm coming. Um, so we're actually at the um, High Line, which is a elevated railway bridge in New York City. And uh, I'm just going to tell you a bit about the show, actually, because um, the hotel room is not a great place for vlogging, really. We went to see last night, as you saw, um, the prom. So the prom is a new musical. When I say new musical, it is in every true sense of the word a new musical. Um, written for the stage, with a team of book writers, and um, original songs, an original story. And that's a rare thing nowadays. Bravo, um, Broadway for, for doing it. And the other thing about the show, so it's about this, um, these fa failing Broadway celebrities, brilliantly portrayed by the Tony nominated Brooks, Ashmanskis and Beth Level. And um, they are having a failing show, Ellen of the Musical. Um, it's as bad as it sounds, you see a bit. And um, need to improve their PR and look for a local cause and on Twitter find a young lesbian girl that's been um, stopped from going to her school prom because she wants to go with a girl and they charge down to southern states, um, Indiana, and um, try and put that right and comedy capers. Now the show was nominated for seven Tony Awards including um, Brooks Ash, Ashmanskis, um, Beth Level, Caitlin Canarian. Um, in, the, in the roles, best musical, and um, it's beautifully directed and choreographed by Casey Nicklaw. So, if anybody knows any bit about him, um, Aladdin, Dream Girls in the West End, um, Book of Mormon, Mean Girls. Now, the show is incredibly strong, it's incredibly funny, heartfelt, fantastic music. Um, I actually thought to have a musical running. Now, sadly, yesterday when we were there, um, it actually uh, announced it's closing on, on, on August the 11th, along with Be More Chill, which we're going to see later in the week. So I don't know if I'm becoming the kiss of death for these shows. Um, but no, it, the show is um, is extraordinary. It's very, very funny. It's a big-hearted, bouncy Broadway musical comedy, fantastic music. The performances are to, to die for. And to have a show that is representative, inclusive, fun, accepting of everybody um, is a rare thing. And I think that is why it's become such an amazing... Um, piece of theatre. Now, will we ever see it in the UK? Who knows? I mean, we might see it in some form. I know that the rights have just been acquired by Theatrical Rights Worldwide, so we may see a production and we may see local productions. Um, I definitely would be interested in doing it, and I've definitely got my part mapped out already. Um, Brooke Ashmanskas, who plays Barry, is a fantastic part in the show. Um, steals the show really with the laughs, beautifully portrayed, um, and also they all have lovely, honest backstories as well, which gives you a bit more of a kind of buy into the show as well. I mean, the show was um, full last night and apparently has been doing so well and it's a shame to see it going. Um, but um, we'll add some clips and we'll add some, uh, tell you a bit more about the show when you, you're seeing some of the other stuff that I'm going to mix together. Uh, we're going to enjoy our walk. Um, tonight we have Tootsie, which um, was also won a Tony Award, a couple of Tony Awards for Best Book and for um, Santino Fontana for his performance, his Best Actor in a Musical. So we'll come back later. Not sure if I'm going to do these into individual vlogs yet or whether I'm going to do them into um, one big New York vlog. But um, so far we've seen King Kong and we've also seen uh, The Prom. Tonight is Tootsie. Uh, we're going to enjoy a walk along the High Line. I might do some more comments on the way back and we'll try to add some of this stuff in as well. We'll also take some show clips. They let you film stuff during the curtain calls. Um, so we've done some of that and um, some bit, a bit more from Times Square you're going to see later. So yeah, uh, look forward to uh, catching up with you all when I come back home. Now as always, before the curtain comes down, as always, please do the normal subscribe. Um, I've seen some, lots of subscribes um, adding this week when I've been in New York, which is fantastic. And uh, meeting some people from overseas, uh, well, me being overseas, um, so um, growing my followers base here. So please follow, please subscribe. Twitter is Adam Amdram, Instagram and Facebook is Amdram Adam. And I look forward to seeing you on the aisle back in the UK or in New York. See you soon. Not at all theatre related, but we're on this thing called the High Line, which is um, an old um, railway bridge. Um, 
regenerated to gardens and parkways right over the meatpacking district. Um, look at this behind me. I actually don't know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's um, curious. Here's my lovely travelling companion. <laughs> Here he is. Behaving himself, not getting himself in too much trouble. But um, yeah, I don't know what it is. It looks like we've got a lot of walking to do, so I'm not sure what we've there. But, um, the other thing that I want to say quickly about the prom, I'm um, just going to my mind, is the choreography was uh, this fantastic mix of Broadway and um, well, not, it's probably not the right way of putting it, but hip hop street dancing, uh, which the whole cast did. So to see some of these people at Beth level and um, older Broadway stars um, dancing with the kids like that, it just brought a whole new joy to the whole thing. It really is a sensational production. I really hope we get it in the UK or a version of it. Um, if any for its inclusivity and its joyfulness, I can't remember being in the West End uh, and in the Broadway for a long time and seeing something that had so much joy and inclusivity and love and life. It was literally, you know, by, by all by all accounts, a five star production. Sorry, I'm looking a bit weird. I'm on my camera, my, my phone rather than my vlogging camera. So I'm going to be cross eyed looking. Okay, that, but um, maybe give me a like for that.